people on the team. Uh, one year ago, precisely today, um, one young, we met him, he was just a fledgling. We picked him up, we nursed him to help. Grant Hearn, a year ago today, was his first show. More importantly, a year ago today was Hanson Chow's very first show. And in honor of that, we got Hanson Chow out here to do a few minutes of stand-up. So to honor uh, the seven to eight minute stand-up that he's going to do, I wrote a 15 to 16 minute introduction. Um, when I look upon Hanson Chow, I see my future. <laughs> and the rest is too emotional, so can we just give it up for Hanson Chow doing some stand-up for one more second, right? That was part of it. Um, well, how are you guys doing tonight? Good, great, awesome, perfect, and wonderful. Guys, my name is Hanson Chow, and I just want to give you guys a quick update about my life. Recently, I posted a video on Facebook. Some of you may have seen it, some of you probably not. Um, it was just like a quick five-minute thing about me doing stand-up at the side bar. But when I posted it, I knew my dad was going to see it. And I knew that was a problem, because 95%, 100% of the jokes were about him. And that's not gonna make him too happy. And sure enough, after I posted it, two days later, he sends me a text message and he goes and says, Hanson, no more jokes about the family. Family doesn't like the jokes. And I'm like, oh man, I'm sorry. Right, I didn't mean to offend anyone, but um, here I am right now. This is being filmed. This is also gonna go on YouTube and Facebook, but this is an hour and a half show. Not a five minute thing that he can watch on the toilet, so he has to commit to this. So whatever, let's get, let's just do this. Um, my mom. <laughs> She's a sweet and wonderful person. She moved here from Taiwan. She had me in the States, and she tried to like get me ready for school, tried to teach me, but it was really difficult for her, right? Because she didn't know the language. So she would talk, turn on Barney, and that's like how I learned English. And, I know, it's sweet, it's cute, I've learned from a dinosaur. Um, <laughs> but things have changed, obviously, because she's lived here for so long, and she's gotten better with it, uh, with English, with American culture, and everything like that. And recently I went home, right? I went home, and I got to see her. And it was such a wonderful experience for me, because when I saw her downing three glasses of wine on a Sunday morning, in preparation of my sister's seventh-year-old birthday party. Guys, I choke up when I think that I have a real suburban mom now. <laughs> right? And it, it's, it's heartwarming. It, it really is. And, and guys, obviously she's gotten better with this, right? She, she, knows, she knows the culture, she knows the language, but she still trips up every now and then on some words, um, particularly snake and snack. So she'll be like with my friends, she'll be like, hey, do you guys want any snakes to eat? Or like, we'll get the food. like, Cool snacks. Um, and that, that's understandable. It's totally okay, right? You're gonna make mistakes even when you really get a language down. What's frustrating about it is I think it's rubbed off on me. I think I, I think I picked up some of this because um, you guys know the phrase uh, shinding, right? Or, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you guys probably know it as shindig. <laughs> Not me. Not until a month ago, literally, when I, for 21 years, I've been saying this wrong. Nobody ever stopped. I say this often because I'm like, shame game, that rhymes, that sounds nice. A fun social gathering, you're gonna shame my dick? Oh, that's wonderful, great, great, great. I enjoyed this, I've been saying it all the time, until finally somebody was like, do you mean shindig? I'm like, uh, no, what? Because you think about a shindig, one, that does not rhyme. Two, please do not ever, under any circumstances, ever dig my shins. That sounds so painful and the opposite of a fun social gathering. So for me, I'm totally justified in this. Um, if we want to keep going down this path about my family, and I think we do, um, we, we, we do some growing. 
as people, right? In college, I'm sure a lot of you guys are students here. Some of you are not. I don't know why you're here. But um, no, it's because I invited you. Um, but we do, we, we grow up. Same thing in high school. But guys, I think when we really start to grow up first is in middle school, right? We all have those awkward moments. We have those awkward pictures. We have those awkward stories. We've been awkward before. Me too, right? I'm just like you guys. Except I think mine is a little bit unique. And I only say that because I thought I was half Korean until I was 12. And I'm not. <laughs> and you might think to yourself, how do you do that? And well, it's really simple when your dad goes and says like stories from when he was a kid in Korea. Or when your parents and your family all speak in Korean and Chinese and English when the family's gathered. Or, you know, when you guys own a family in North Carolina and the menu is literally half Korean, half Chinese. And so I asked my dad, why don't you ever teach me Korean? He's like, why would I teach you Korean? And I'm like, because I'm not Korean. And he's like, no, you're not. <laughs> what? And so, like, as other kids are finding out in middle school that, like, ACDCs are legends of rock and roll, I'm over here tearing down these posters. I'm not Korean. Who is K-pop? Why is this flag here? <laughs> so we all do some growing. And uh, I did mine. And, and I figured to myself, okay, I can't have both. I can't be both Korean and Chinese. I'm going to focus in real hard on this Chinese stuff. So I read everything. I read every single thing there was to be about Chinese. I got it all down, okay? You can ask me any question, go ahead. That's right, I know it. <laughs> and I found something online, guys, and I wanna share this with you, because it's terrifying. And it's also about Chinese culture. And that terrifying thing are Chinese ghosts. That's right, Chinese ghosts. Now, 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 you guys, I, I know I said the G word, I'm sorry. But guys, you guys already know about Western ghosts. Right? Those scary things, movies, also not scary, but you know, whatever. Western ghosts. Some of you guys might know about like Japanese ghosts because you can, I can tell you watch a lot of anime, it's fine. But like <laughs> Chinese ghosts I bet you have never heard about and you have never learned about. And I'm about to teach you guys this, okay? So if you go to China and you see uh, in like the house, like the ancient homes, you're gonna notice something right when you walk up to the front door and it's this ledge. Now it's not like a step that you step onto, no, that'd be, that would make a lot of sense. No, imagine like, oh, rectangular and very harsh speed bump, just right here that you have to like strategically step over and pay very close attention to. After that, you're gonna walk into this doorway and then uh, it's just gonna be a straight wall in front of you and then you can go either to your right or to your left, right, left directions. And you're thinking to yourself, Hanson, this does not sound convenient at all. You're right, it's not. It's not convenient at all, it's to ward off ghosts. Because here's the thing, in Chinese culture, ghosts don't have knees. <laughs> Which is like weird, when you die, you lose them. Everything else is still there, but not your knees, where the, only the living get those. And, and so because of that, they can't walk over this ledge. They can't jump, because all this action right here, elephants, they can't do it. They don't have knees, they're dead. And so, um, so when you're running, you're like, ah, oh, God, there's a ghost, and then you just jump over this ledge. Ghosts can't get you, you're safe. Now you're asking me, okay, what about this wall? That's in case those ghosts do get you and they do somehow cross the ledge. Don't ask me how because they can't. But if they do, now here's the thing. Chinese ghosts, also they can't turn. They can literally only walk in a straight line. Not even walk, just kind of like, because they don't have knees, remember? So, so they can't turn because they don't have knees. I think it's more of a hip thing there, but I don't know. So they can't do that. You can't do this. To me, that's not terrifying at all. Like, imagine telling a scary story. It's like, oh, but all the cameras got away because they started running in zigzags. It's like, that's not scary at all. What's terrifying, guys, what's terrifying is that these ghosts are not ghosts. They're spirits. They're ancient ancestral spirits in the sense that they're your grandma and they're your grandpa and they're yelling at you. They're still chasing you. You thought you got rid of them because they died? Wrong. They're gonna helicopter you for the rest of eternity. When you die, you're gonna join them and helicopter other people too. And then that's what's terrifying because it's grandma yelling at you, have you found a nice Chinese woman to marry down yet? No, have you, it's her dad yelling at you like, why'd you do another whole video about my family? And I'm like, I'm sorry, dad. That's terrifying. I'm never gonna be able to get rid of that. Anyways guys, my name is Hanson Chow. Thank you so much for coming out. We have a wonderful set. This curtain's gonna open up eventually, and then you're gonna see a bunch, a bunch of words. You're gonna see a bunch of beautiful people. We're gonna do some stand-up lies. I already did that. We're gonna do some camera on my cell phone.
a song now. We're going to do that on the show. Hi, hey guys. How are you? Good. Okay. Okay. That's great. Uh, I think I, part of me was afraid it's going to hear, like, not so good. And that's just not the, the comedic environment I want to step into. Uh, one more time for Hanson Child. Thank you. Everybody. <laughs> We're very proud of Hanson. Uh, we're going to get it going today with uh, everything else we're going to do from now on. It's going to be completely improvised, completely made up. Uh, how many of you guys are seeing Laugh Check and Field for the first time? This is great. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, so many of you saw us once and thought, okay, I could do that again. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, so everything we're going to do is going to be completely made up, and we're going to get it going today with a game called Change. Uh, Change is going to be for Chuck and for Morty. And uh, this is an LTFA, but we do this just about every show. But it's only because people keep asking us, when are you going to do change again? And we say, at the start of the next show. We do it every single month. <laughs> <laughs> so most of you guys probably know how this goes. Change is the game for these two. They're going to be doing a scene together. And at any point in time, I can just say change. And they have to completely make a, make a, make a turn around and say something different. We're not Chinese ghosts. They're not Chinese ghosts. They want to get that out there. And guys, none of us are Chinese ghosts, I promise. Uh, Hanson, not yet, but none of us are Chinese ghosts. <laughs> the Korean ghosts have knees. It's, uh... <laughs> guys, can I get a, uh, maybe an interesting place that these two could be and have me at the same time? Yeah. Uh, have all I heard middle school and gas station. How about a middle school gas station? <laughs> hey, bro. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to buy uh, two packs of condoms, which I'm going to use, too. <laughs> it's all right. I got these for you. Would you like for me to throw in the complimentary Axe body spray? Oh, my God. It's a for it, so yeah. Oh, yeah. What you got? Oh, you got a 20, bro. Uh -huh. How are you going to pay for your movie date later, though? And you say, Dad's 20? Oh, oh, it's that easy, Broderick. <laughs> I love how you know my name. <laughs> this is the only gas station in town that's just for middle schoolers. Of course I'm going to know your name, Broderick. All right, well, Randall, I've got a special for you. All right. Not only do we have those <coughs> condoms. <laughs> yeah, condoms. <laughs> Guy. 
understand. But you have a lot of money to invest. Oh, brother, do I? <laughs> Dang, you got like six quarters here. Dang, Dang you've got like four handfuls of pocket money here. <laughs> really love rolling the dough. Yeah. Yeah. That's that easy, man. And plus, I got the same bag to any from earlier. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm gonna get some snacks with this bad boy. Oh. Because what are movies? What are movies? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> well, uh, we've got the finest selection of middle school snacks, you know. We've got warheads over there, but they're extremely sour. Change. But they're kind of not really that sour. Change. They're, it's, they're loaded with Axe body spray. Oh, God! <laughs> game on this stage, we're going to play a game called Headphones. And that means I need Austin and I need Peyton. I need Justin, who's already on stage, and I need Grant. Everyone's already on stage. Um, these two fine coppers are going to go put on those headphones. They're going to listen to some sounds of Japanese rock. I think that's what Austin picked up. J-Rock. Um, he watches a lot of anime, too. Um, <laughs> so they're going to listen to music, and it's going to be blasting. While that's happening, these two fine improvers, they're gonna do a scene, and while that's happening, they're gonna be watching it, and they're gonna have to recreate the same scene. But the catch is, is they can't hear the dialogue, so they have to add in their own dialogue. Do you guys, you guys see where this is going, right? Okay, perfect. What I need is an extreme sport for these two to be playing. Chess! I heard a combination of underwater flarping. <laughs> that, that, that's not the right phrase. Larping. Flarping. Do flarp. <laughs> <laughs> Flinger the flarper when I was in high school. Everything to be called by anybody. Hey, I had to make fun of your high school nickname. The guy that nobody thinks smells good. <laughs> but at least it makes sense. Alright, my turn to flark. That was a pretty good one. You would know! Take this one out, though. <laughs> smell good, it's true. I'm not a great flarper. That nickname was ironic. I'll admit that. But listen, there's no one better than you to just show me the ropes. <laughs> okay, I will. I'm gonna listen, get night. I'll night you. Listen, you know what you're doing, this flarping. I know what I'm doing. Everyone knows what we're doing here. We're flarping, clearly. <laughs> the world's biggest sport. How can they not know what flarping uh, is? Underwater, though. Do you remember the time that they added flarping to the Olympics for the first time? Everyone was just like, Mwah! Yeah, pretty poorly, I It was that. wonderful. They couldn't flim flam the Zim Zale. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Listen, if anyone can flim flam the Zim Zam, it's you. Yeah, it is. If you, if, you, if, you, if you just take the sword of flarping and put it right here on my headstone, then, then I'll be able to flarp. I gotta remove it from the stone first. Okay. Uh. Slowly. Is that is that it? Am I am I knighted? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm take, the, the, my eyes are kind of watering from the smell, so I'm gonna take your <laughs> These two fine improvers are going to do the exact same scene as best they can, even though they don't know the dialogue. What's going to happen? Yeah, dude, I'm the best swimmer in my school. Don't tell the teacher I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? i got to be honest with you. I am not taking mine in school anymore. Wait, 
you just think you're you just think you're cooler than mimes. You just think you're cooler than doing things but not actually doing anything. <laughs> you just cooler than that. It's kind of boring. Like when I, when I grow up, I don't want to like have my kids be like, oh, what'd you do? You know, be like, oh, I did things but I didn't actually do them. I got something to say. Now I'm about to throw this wrecking ball at you. No. <laughs> So these guys are gonna fill in some of the blanks for the scene for you guys. So can I get can I get a relationship for Julia and Evan? A relationship that they have. <laughs> So I dropped the soap, I'm sorry. <laughs> about sharing yeah. showers. You know him? I know him. You know Bob. I know Bob. Bob McGob. Bob McGob. <laughs> <laughs> and last time I talked to him, you know what he said? Uh, no, don't go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't his best advice. <laughs> I'm having a blast here, you know? I, uh, I, I like to keep a couple of toys in here with me, you know? I, uh, <laughs> You know, like this thing here, we've got a... Oh, uh, it's a He-Man action figure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a He-Man action figure. You know, it's like, it's like we're having four pairs of eyes stare at you, you know? It's, it's double the effect. I really like it, you know? That's, yeah. that's inspirational. I'm, I'm, it's, it's off. It's off. It's, the it's steam, beautiful. The steam is hitting me. Yeah, and feels good, I just, don't it? I, I'm feeling a little, a little, a little warm because 
Because I also have a rash. <laughs> some cream to prevent that. You know, it's actually, it's called... Uh, just don't rub your junk on a He-Man action figure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know... <laughs> should I turn over your hole? It's right there. Like, should I move away? Because I like this area that we're in right now. Frank. I, I like it too, Tabitha. If you if you want to stay, I mean, I, I guess I guess you can stay. Okay. Do you do you have any more toys? You I like, do. I, I do. see your shower caddy. I want to know more. Yeah, you know, it's okay. a huge shower caddy. It's like <laughs> half the size of the cell. You know, I don't I don't play around. <laughs> I'm serious about my shower. You know, we've uh, we've got this thing here. It's it's a uh, uh, uh dildo. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it's not just a dildo. It doubles as a... Another dildo? <laughs> Frank, I brought my shower caddy. It's over here. I won't, I won't let it touch yours. Okay. I wanted to show you what I have, though. Oh, sure, yeah. A no longer functioning remote control car. <laughs> this is so cool. And it doesn't even function, so the water won't break it. It won't. <laughs> trials through my childhood yeah through just some crazy my college days yeah and then i fucked up <laughs> it was yeah. there with me for that it's, it's been with me through this rash you know oh god no it's been with me. i just <laughs> i named it he man action figure <laughs> One toy, you know. Was it that He-Man action figure? It was this. He it wasn't the dildo. Oh no, it, 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 it wasn't the dildo. You're right. You're right. But you know, I I didn't want it to be a He-Man action figure, so I wanted to name it something else, you know. And I named it uh, Tabitha. <laughs> I named it Tabitha. Before prison, were you a psychic? Was that like a? Did well, you know. <laughs> thing I did on the side, you know, bring in a few bucks. It's actually why I'm in prison, because I defrauded some people. <laughs> All right, ladies on the stage, I mean, Jake and Annie Grant, stay out here, buddy. Today we're about to, today, right now, even, we're going to play this game. <laughs> I like to call it Half-Life. For you chemistry majors out there, this won't help you at all. <laughs> but uh, you sit there and you say, wow, you guys do these scenes. You can probably do them for a minute. That's kind of boring. Easily. It is. Easily. Easily, yeah. yeah. What if I told you we were going to do one for a minute and then do one for 30 seconds? Oh, whoa. Your mind's blown, right? Same, yeah. scene? same scene. Oh, 30 oh, seconds. Oh. Okay, fine. 15 have... seconds after the 30 seconds. I know, I know. Okay, that's where it stops, right? That's where it's got to be where it it's, stopped. It got to be dead after 15. That's where it stopped. 7.5! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be done. No, okay, there's fine. There's no time. You guys I, I are obviously no not impressed. Guys, they are not impressed with this. They're going to do the same scene in one second. Oh, and boy. each time, it's going to just get crazier and crazier. So Ooh. I'm going to take out my handy dandy timer. I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> and before we start I'm this, I need a suggestion for a place that these two could go on vacation. <laughs> A Denny's on Saturn is what I heard. <laughs> you have one minute. Go. Hey, Denny! That's me! Wow! Welcome to this, your Saturn establishment. This is incredible. I can't believe you finally did it. Yeah, it took me 29 years. It took you so long, Denny. But now we're here on this gaseous planet. Uh, rocking it. There's that ring right there. None of this makes any sense. It took me eight years to get here. Uh, bad idea. I can't say I disagree with you. Yeah, but, I mean, but just, when I wrote you eight years ago, I was 
super lonely. I was like, like, what sucker would fly all the way to Saturn just for me? God damn it, it was me, isn't it? <laughs> Jim, it's me, dumb old Jim. will fly anywhere he's to help me go. Well. I got to go, Jim. I kind of want to just leave, though. Like, I don't want to stay. Like, sure. Oh, what are you going to do? Grand Slam. Grand Slam on Saturn. <laughs> yeah, Saturn. The Saturnal Grand Slam. <laughs> I like, like a, the baseball Grand Slam. We have no the Denny's restaurant menu. Thirty seconds. <laughs> oh wow, Denny's on Saturn. I'm the Denny's, but not the restaurant. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Jill. I, I, I got confused with that letter. <laughs> that letter was so confusing that you said eight years ago. I wrote it as a restaurant. You said I was going to get a, a restaurant Grand Slam when we got here. On Saturday. On Saturday. You got punked! You punked me! <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> Do you think that's the ring of a. That's the Saturn ring, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what's on the Saturn ring? What? Nah, Diddy! God damn you! You can say it! Oh, wow! Welcome to Saturn! This is incredible! Jim, you came? Yeah, I did! I didn't think it was that stupid! God damn it! You got to be a Diddy's here! I'm Diddy! Yo, yeah, I'm God damn it, Diddy! <laughs> this happens every single time you go anywhere! Say it, boy! Fine! Oh wow, what is this sound or something? I love Diddy's! Too bad I love the Diddy Dust! Damn it! suggestion from you guys, the audience. And uh, what I'm going to need is a, uh, a cheesy book title, a bad book, you know, one you might pay a dime for if it was in the store. <laughs> How about imaginary? Spot, except 
Where he's the guy who names the frogs out here. <laughs> but he didn't let that lapse in logic stop him from retorting to tell me. I was born here. <laughs> you were born in a frog pond. Garrison was indeed born in a frog pond, but not this one, but he couldn't let that slip. <laughs> this exact one. <laughs> Tony bought it, the fool. <laughs> Say it for Git. So how do I get one of those, uh... You don't, but look at this thing over here. Garrison was, of course, pointing to the boat that he made himself out of lily pads, the kind that don't float. <laughs> but it's, it's not float, it's slowly sinking. What, what use is that? Garrison knew it was sinking. Tony, you wanted to tell me it's sinking, said Garrison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this next thing is called the clap, and I'm gonna meet a lot of dang people out here. Let me give you a straight. I'm gonna read it off the list because I just love this Joker Man font so much. <laughs> Give me Hanson, give me Joe. I thought that was gonna rhyme. I'm sorry, guys. We're all gonna rhyme. Give it to me anyway. Anyway, so we're gonna tell three separate stories, but they're gonna have a kind of continuity here. This is gonna be three individual scenes with two players. So what's gonna happen is what ties them all together is line by line. On occasion, I'm gonna I'm gonna clap my hands together, and then one group is gonna have to take that line and start wherever they are in their separate universes, separate characters. So what I need, I'm gonna need three suggestions. So everybody, buckle down and put on your suggestions cap. For Peyton and Jake, I'm going to need a relationship that they can share. Surrogate mother. Surrogate mother. Easy peasy. <laughs> Austin and Justin, I need a reason why you've broken up with someone. Billy Mays. <laughs> I feel for you. Billy Mays. We've all been there. Okay, then for Julia and Hanson, all we're going to need here, folks, it's this easy. Give me a vacation spot. I heard Las Vegas. Okay, so let's take it away, Billy Mays. I, I can't believe you. I can't believe you, Billy. I can't. Oh, I'm Billy Mays. <laughs> I know. I, we've been dating for three years. That's how I always introduce myself. You have to introduce yourself to me, honey. We've been together for quite some time. They say if you don't introduce yourself every day, you might forget me. <laughs> That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Should I, I be quieter? <laughs> I don't know. I All right, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Resounding no. No, you don't ever let me finish what I want to say. I'm Billy Banks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Like, I just, I just want to speak with you. I just want to have a logical Billy Banks here, still here, still here. <laughs> I know. This, okay, listen. I love you a lot. I, I want to marry you. <laughs> I, that, I want to marry you, but... <laughs> You're not going to say anything? I... <laughs> Listen, I want to marry you, okay? But I'm your surrogate mother. <laughs> I want to do it, don't get me wrong. I just don't know about the courts. <laughs> the courts. <laughs> I know it's confusing, 
This is Branson, the Las Vegas for 50 plus years. <laughs> it's great. I know it's confusing because all the hotels are shit. <laughs> Just like the ones in Vegas. Yeah, oh. every just like the ones in Vegas, this marriage is gonna fail. <laughs> I thought the honeymoon was great. We had a great first night, great consummation. You said your name. Can I just say something did. real quick? Okay. I'm Billy Mays. I know. <laughs> I believe I deserve the benefit of the doubt of a very successful television spokesperson, and I can save this marriage. <laughs> I believe I deserve the benefit of the doubt of a very successful television spokesperson, and I can save this marriage. <laughs>
two comment on number one first. <laughs> I see we didn't have a question. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, who's our man to pillar of Southern Home Baking Magazine? Uh, I just want to know, what's up with all the beef lately? You know. <laughs> Next. Uh, yeah, Montgomery Schmidt from Kinesiology Times. Do you ever get, like, shoulder pain from doing this all the time? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, in the back. Uh, All of the lights really bother me. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> should have all that power, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you were once quoted with saying, uh, I am a God, even though I am a man of God. Is this going to happen in a church? Is this going to happen in a graveyard? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Just as long as it's not a church in the wild. <laughs> yes. Two million followers, okay? It's 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 over. The beef's over. N next question. Yes. Uh, man, you are good looking. Uh, I'm, you know, Eastern home bacon. You know. <laughs> I just gotta know. So you drop one, you pick up the next best one. What's it like to just, you know, just be swimming in it? <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> Sir Matador bowls a lot. I uh, just wanted to ask if there's going to be bad blood between you and Kim now. You know, there just might be. Uh, yes? Uh, Hanson Chow, University of Arkansas. Uh, I do. Cool. Uh, any more questions? Ah, yes. Look, okay, y'all, let me explain. I met this girl. She was just oh, out of my wildest dreams. <laughs> so I looked at my marriage certificate, got some whiteout, made a blank space, and uh, <laughs> Kanye West, I married Taylor Swift. something that's more of a cohesive story, it's going to take a little bit longer. What do you from you guys is the information to get started. I don't just want like a word, uh, we want a story. Uh, one thing that we want to know is, uh, does anybody have, you know, it's, it's New Year, New Us, we're, 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 not, we're now back. Uh, does anybody have a good New Year's story? Does it have to be this year, just any, uh, any New Year's? And, uh, and if you do have a good story, do you want to get up on stage and tell it? Or you can stay in the audience. Yeah. You want to come up here? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> you know, here's, I thought it was gonna be colder than it was. So I put on a sweater, and Lindenberg told me to take it outside. No, I don't. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought you'd be wearing a shirt. I, I, don't, I don't. I really don't like clothes in the first place, so I wouldn't have. Now I really want to hear about this New Year's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> New Year's story. So, um, my family is from this like really, really, really small town in Texas, right? So I go down to Texas every year for like Christmas slash New Year kind of thing, right? So I'm down there and um, one year, my mom has to come 
back early. Plot twist, she leaves me in Texas. So I'm down with my grandma, and my grandma, she's like 70, 77-ish at the time, right? And so there's like um, this armadillo, because it's Texas, there's armadillos everywhere. And it like runs under my aunt's van. And so my grandma calls me and she's like, hey, there's an armadillo under your aunt's van, go scare it out so I can shoot it, right? <laughs> we weren't really strict on gun laws yet. <laughs> So, like, I am from Fayetteville. We don't have armadillos, so I'm not really sure, like, the proper etiquette of scaring an armadillo out. So I go under this van, and I'm trying to, like, scare it out of the... And I do successfully kind of sort of. I throw a tennis ball at it, and it runs at me. So I get up. <laughs> so I get up, and I run away. And my grandma, like, she's really in the zone. So, like, all I hear is, do you want to get shot? Pow! <laughs> So I assumed I had been shot, so I just fell on the ground. <laughs> and then approximately 10 minutes later, my grandma came and she was like, Trey, why are you still on the ground? We have to go and watch like the ball drop. So we go inside the house, we watch the ball drop. I'm having an anxiety attack because I think I'm getting shot, but. And that's my next story. All right, thank you. you to come outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Screen door. I'm glad you can hear through it. Walk right through. That's another option I got. You could walk through it. Either way, beside the point, there is an elephant under my car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why you got the lift kit, I suppose. <laughs> right. And I need you to scare it out there so I can cheat. <laughs> How am I supposed to scare an elephant? I couldn't intimidate a house barn and fly out. <laughs> Anyway, look, I didn't raise you to be no brave man. No, certainly not. Because I need to keep you under my iron fist, my iron 78-year-old fist. Uh -huh. <laughs> On account of all the men I've been punching out of my life. I beat them up with stick. I am a strong grandma. Again. Hey there, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was the third gentleman suitor in the past week. So. <laughs> what? Well, but you tell me I got I got to scare off that big old thing. You're darn right, you do. Oh golly! I want to even throw at it a tennis ball, something bigger, bowling ball. <laughs> I just keep trying to throw bigger balls at it until it runs That's out. That's the of biggest ball we got. It's the bowling one. <laughs> right, baby. Welcome to the ball store. Um, good to see you in here again. Well, I wish it were under happier circumstances. <laughs> what do you got bigger than a bowling ball? Um, Nothing, right? That's what I told my grandma. I got the beach ball, but it's not harder. It's That's certainly good. bigger. I don't know if we're going for more of a density or size thing. <laughs> what can you tell me about elephants? Um, they... <laughs> I hear you need to talk to an elephant expert about density versus size. I sure do. After this, I gotta go back to the ball store in the back of my grandma's like the truck. It's a busy day for me. Well, so then I hope I can make day. this brief. Now, when you're throwing things at an elephant, density means nothing whatsoever. Not size is the only key issue. Okay. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> beach ball for sure. Okay, all right. You brought home a beach ball? Yeah, I talked to an expert and I talked to an elephant expert. I talked to a ball expert. Uh, I've been talking about a Wait a minute. He's talking to a ball expert? <laughs> yeah, a ball expert. The guy goes out every single one there is to my balls. Did I throw it or not? Yeah, I reckon. You got a gun ready? I reckon. <laughs> Circular 
Bullet? Like a lead ball! Like a lead ball! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, son. Yeah, Dad? You've done so many good things in your life. You're from Fayetteville. You're, a, you're an artist. You're, you're the future of our generation. But I'm leaving you in Texas until you learn to kill your first armadillo. What? what? Yeah. But in Texas? Yeah, leaving you there. Oh, no. It's my worst nightmare all over again. Because yeah. the first time it's the first time. <laughs> Son? Yeah? You're from Bayfield. Uh -huh. You're a great artist. You're the future of our generation. But I'm leaving you here in Alabama until you learn to play Twister. Come back! <laughs> and you did! You were great! I know, but I don't think I can do this again. Alabama's bad enough, and now Texas. Remember what I told you when, when you went to play Twister? Right hand left. Left hand green. That's right. <laughs> it worked out just fine last time. I think that same advice is going to hold true. This okay, time. okay, so when I find the armadillo, right hand left and my left hand onto the green. I think you got it. Let's, let's go about finding the armadillo. I'll be totally honest with you. I, have a I think that's it right there. <laughs> well, I can kill it, of course. No, I need to do this. Okay, it's just me. <laughs> So my right hand turns into my left hand, and then the left hand goes into the green part. <laughs> Are you dead yet? Did you kill him? Cut to the armadillo's funeral? <laughs> Sam is my best friend. <laughs> my only friend. And my only lover. <laughs> Sorry. They're fucking everywhere down here. 
that's what they do, you know, they just get behind one another and... <laughs> so wasteful. I throw away money like constantly, and the elephants hate it. <laughs> they do hate it. Got time trying to breed an elephant. Stop. 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 Are you what? You don't like my new chain? Oh my, I can't believe you spent money on that. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe it. It's pretty dope, right? Okay, answer me one question. How much of your paycheck are you saving every time? Uh, people keep asking me this today. Uh, Is it over 50% yet? <laughs> Listen, I get a paycheck, I spend a paycheck, right? I'm, oh my I'm You spend the paycheck? Do I look cool or what? <laughs> no! No! You know what's cool? Saving money. <laughs> Dude, all the are all the same. All right, thank you, man. You know what? You all the are all the same, too. Guys, thank you for coming out tonight. We've had a great time with you. Uh, we want to plug something real quick. Um, on uh, February 17th, the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater, which is a professional improv theater company. They've got theaters in New York and California. They're really cool. They're coming here to do a campus show. We're going to get to open for them. It's going to be really great. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be the best improv show you ever see besides this one, and you guys should all be there. Uh, one more time for Hanson Chow. <laughs> Super like us all on Tinder. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>